When using the standard clamp technique, the 15 mm and adjacent 12 mm port sites should be placed slightly cawdad in order to allow for the length of the clamp, which is inserted through the 15 mm port site, and the angle of the stapler, which is fired through the 12 mm port. A Nathanson liver retractor has been previously placed to retract the left lateral segment of the liver. The short gastric vessels are first taken down using the harmonic scalpel from a point 6 cm proximal to the pylorus to the angle of hiss. The GE junction is well exposed at the angle of hiss and anteriorly by at least partially excising the GE junction fat pad. A mark is created on the anterior surface of the stomach at a point 3 centimeters from the incisura. A standard clamp is placed across the stomach along an oblique line connecting the three identified landmarks, 6 centimeters from the pylorus, 3 centimeters from the incisura, and 1 centimeter from the GE junction. The tip and handle of the clamp should be in the 1 o'clock and 7 o'clock positions, respectively. Clamp is used to guide an 18 French OG tube along the lesser curvature of the stomach as it is advanced into the pylorus by the anesthesiologist. A vertical sleeve gastrectomy is then performed adjacent to the clamp. When using the echelon stapler system, a gold load is used for the first firing, followed by blue loads until the gastrectomy is complete. Visual inspection of this series of gastric pouches reveals a uniform curved appearance with a staple line that is not twisted or deflected, as twisting of the pouch has been implicated in postoperative reflux and staple line leaks due to high intragastric pressures. The measured deflection angle of the specimen tip has been zero degrees in each case. In our experience, this contrasts with approximately 15 to 90 degrees of twist observed in even well-formed classic sleeve gastrectomies performed using a bougie. There have been no intraoperative complications attributable to the use of this device. Routinely, patients tolerate bariatric clear liquids and protein shakes on the same day of surgery and are discharged on postoperative day one. In summary, the standard clamp technique is simple and feasible. Use of this technique has resulted in visually uniform postoperative gastric pouches with consistent adherence to ideal anatomic parameters. The standard clamp may be a helpful tool in decreasing variation and undesirable pouch characteristics in sleeve gastrectomy procedures.